Hey, what's poppin' YouTube? Wait, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video, alright? Today is gonna be something a little bit, well, cool, I guess. Basically, I'm gonna make a new series, alright? Where I would take random, just random shit, ah! alright? Just random everyday items. It could be food, it can be, uh, objects, it can be vehicles. I don't care what it is. I pretty much ask you guys random stuff and I draw those items as if they were characters, all right? I thought it was a pretty cool concept, all right? You know what I'm saying? Pretty cool, all right? It's gonna be like I'm taking stuff and turning it into anime, all right? Um, and eventually we're gonna have an entire cinematic universe of just random items as, as characters. The first episode all right, I asked you guys over on Instagram. By the way, follow my Instagram page if you want to participate in these like events because that's where most of like the voting and stuff is gonna happen. Um, I'll try to see if I can do some on YouTube, but most of the time the votes and stuff are gonna happen on IG. All right, so make sure you're over there. Okay, okay, all right. So we're gonna be doing that in today's video. All right, and seeing what you guys have come up with. All right, before we start, all right, I want you guys to do me a favor, like the video. Like, like it right now. You you can't pass without liking that, that. That's that's the pass. I'll wait. It's all right. I'll wait. Take your time, bro. Take your time. <laughs> we we got all day. All right. To everyone who liked the video, you may enter. Come inside. Come inside. You may enter. All right. All right. Mate. Take take your seats in the back, please. For everyone who did not like the button. I know where you live. Like you think I don't know where I I know where every one of my followers live. I know your address. Are you scared? Are you worried? You should be. Anyway, enough talking. Let's get started. All right. So I'm gonna be heading over to the polls right now and seeing the results, seeing what you guys chose. Okay. Let's see what item you guys picked. I'm gonna get my canvas and stuff right here. Here's my little poll thing. My little account, by the way. Make sure you guys follow the Instagram to vote next time, all right? Now, let's see. We have 195 votes. And let's see what we got. All right. So, let's refresh it real quick. The first item that we're going to be doing, or not item, more like a food object, is cookie. All right. So, cookie won the vote, all right? And third place, we have water bottle. Second place, we have fidget spinner, all right? I'm not going to lie. I was hoping for fidget spinner because that would be a pretty cool concept. But... We're going to work with what we got, all right? So, now we're going to go over to our gender of the character, all right? And see which gender one. We got male, female, other, and female one. I mean, I, I saw that coming from a mile away. I'm not surprised. That, that means we're going to be drawing a female cookie as a character, of course, all right? This should be fun. This should be pretty fun, all right? I got my stuff right here, set it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretty much be doing some rough sketches of some concepts. There's going to be at least three. We're going to be choosing from those top three and then seeing what we come up with, all right? So that's going to be it, and I'll see you guys when I'm done with the concept art, all right? All right, so I decided to go with an M&M cookie. Um, I was going to go chocolate chip, but then I was like, I want to add color into it, all right? So we're going to be doing a... M&M cookie, all right, because M&Ms have color in them, you know what I'm saying? So that way we can get a color in there as well, all right? But now, we're going to transform this into a character, all right? Now, what would be a cool concept, all right? You know what? I was thinking about something for, the, I mean, it's a, it's a cookie. It's a cookie. It's sweet. Cookies are sweet. Um, So it's going to be hard to make it into like a badass character, all right? So maybe what we can do is something just something kawaii, something kawaii, something something chibi, not chibi style, but you know what I'm trying to say, like something something adorable, I guess. All right. Uh, maybe there can be a cookie jar. All right. So maybe like a cookie jar right here. We're gonna get like a like a little bowl. All right. Maybe they're coming out the cookie jar. Like hey, hello. Popping out the cookie jar, maybe they have a cookie hat or something like that. I don't really know. But this is concept. This is concept, right? I feel like every artist should understand thumbnail sketching and concept sketching, little little concept, um, you know, arts. 
it does help your progress, helps your uh, your art skill, okay? Something like that, that's the first one. Second one, I'm gonna pretty much be thinking about some girl, maybe she's like, um, you know, she has like some kind of like frisbee. I don't know, it's a cookie frisbee. That, that, that sounds like a dumb one. I, I, I'm just gonna figure it out, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. I don't know what I'm gonna come up with, um, but I'll let you guys see the designs. And, uh, and I'll pick the best one, I guess. All right, y'all. So, I have my three concepts here. And one of them is the, you know, when coming at the cookie, just a girl standing with there. And then one is like a purse, is like a character riding on a cookie, like a, like a surfboard, kind of. Kind of like Super Surf or something like that. Um, I think I'm going to go with the girl popping out the cookie jar all right i think that's that that makes more sense i tried to do something casual something exciting and something like cool the cool one's the surfboard one uh but i think we're gonna stick with i think we're gonna stick with like the cuteness or the the adorable factor i guess and go with the cookie i mean the one in the cookie jar all right so so yeah we're gonna be going with that one all right so that means we can get rid of these other concepts right here erase and we can blow up this one, boom. So now, let's turn this cookie into a cake. All right, so right now I'm getting the actual sketch done, you know what I'm saying? Like the actual construction lines and the proportions, all that, all that, all that good stuff that you need to make an actual illustration, all right? Um, I'm gonna be using the color palette from the actual reference in the picture, um, but I'm going to have like, I was trying to have a couple with the posing, I guess, and the hair. I was trying to figure out what I was going to do with that. Um, but I did figure it out eventually. And um, also the clothing. I don't know what she's going to be wearing. Um, I'm thinking about some kind of like sundress or something like that. I don't know, like like a sundress. All right. So here's where I'm at in the progress. Um, I'm going to be doing her clothing now. I'm still having a hard time figuring out if I want her arm on here hit and then both or both her arms up. I'm just, I'm just playing around right now. Like, this, like I said. We're still in the concept, like, rough sketching phase, so I can change things here and there. Um, it won't look exactly like the actual thumbnail. Um, but, I don't know what to do with her hair. Like, I don't, like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm having a hard time with the hair. Her skin tone's gonna be the actual cookie batter. The clothing is gonna be more like the, uh, the M&Ms and stuff like that. So, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe a skirt. Something like... Like up here, like one of those, uh, you know, those, those bell skirts. I don't know. Maybe a bell skirt, that looks cool. Um, and maybe those puffy, like, shirts, you know, kind of like a, I don't know what they're called. They're like, they're like, got puffy shoulders, like a. All right, y'all, so this is where I'm at so far. And I'm actually liking the concept, okay? She got the cookie hat on, everything else. Um, I was gonna give her, like, like regular finger gloves, but I was like, what, how can I, how can I avoid drawing hands? You feel me? Because that's, that's an artist's full-time job, is how to avoid drawing hands. <laughs> playing. Um, but I was like, you know what? Why not just turn these into mitts? Like, little oven mitts? You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, you say, okay, hear me out, so. Got the, got the little hand, okay? And this is one mitt, and then we got the little, the thumb part. It's, 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 like, it's like an oven mitt, you feel me? I think that looks, I think that looks cool. I think it looks cool, all right? So I'm gonna go with that, I'm gonna go with that, all right? One, because it goes with, it goes with her design and her aesthetic. And two, um, because I don't wanna draw a hand right now. I don't like drawing hands. So we're gonna make this an oven mitt, all right? Do that, you feel me? Just like so, and then boom, bro. We got a little oven mitt going on. Hell yeah, hell yeah, all right. This is gonna be hollowed out area of the gum. It's gonna be kind of loose on her hand, you feel me? And I also, if people are wondering what this is in the background, uh, this little sketch I did, I was gonna give her a whisk, like she's holding a whisk. Maybe it can be her, her weapon, maybe she can fight, I don't know. It's a character, it's a character. So, 
So yeah, I'm gonna give her like a little whisk that she's holding behind her, okay? Um, and then after that, we're gonna hop into actual coloring and then we'll be finished with our character design. I'll see you in a minute. All right, so right here, I'm pretty much just cleaning up my sketch, okay? Cause we got a sketchy sketch and then we got the sketch, you know what I'm saying? Like the, like the clean sketch. Um, I got, <laughs> I got like three sketching processes. Um, but now I'm getting down all the tight lines, stuff like that. And then I'm going to be doing the actual line art and getting down my color palette. All right. So I pretty much, I dropped the colors from there and we're moving to color soon. So this is going to be lit. Boy, let's get it. Let's go. Woo. All right, bro. We have the full character and now we got to lay out the colors. All right. Lay out the colors. This is where we're at so far. Um, I had a couple of like hiccups um, in like the actual flat coloring, um, but I think I got it. I think I got it. Um, I think I got it simple enough. You know what I'm saying? I was playing around with the hair. Um, I was gonna make the hair red, right? But she looked a little bit too much like Wendy. You know, like the Wendy logo. Um, and I was like, I don't want to look. I don't want to look like the Wendy logo too much. Um, so I, I stuck. I do like I'd regular like default brown hair instead. Um, her skin tone looks nice, um, and her leggings, I don't know, I was thinking, let's, let's see what pink looks like, I don't know, uh, that was kind of goofy, play with the color of it a little bit, um, uh, the blue, is, it blends in with the, with, the, with the rest of the skirt, so no, the pink stands out, maybe red, like the, like the, Nah, that, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe the leggings can just be white. The, the white leggings don't look that bad, to be honest. So I might have to go white leggings. So, uh, so yeah. I think that's what we're going to be doing. Hell yeah. Let me just get a... Uh, well, actually, I won't. Whenever, whenever I'm coloring white, I always use like a very slightly tinted white, like a, like a light gray, you know? And her whisk... Is it gonna be silver, so we're gonna make a nice gray color behind her, just like so. Um, I was thinking about having a cookie on her belt buckle, you feel me? So, what I mean by that is, like, for instance, when we go to her, her outfit and we're gonna choose her cookie color, make it on the thing, uh, maybe have the outline uh, yellow, like golden, a little golden buckle. Maybe a little bit darker yellow, like an orange yellow. You feel me? Something like that. And then the M and M skills can have like polka dots. Oops, can have like polka dots in the uh, actual push more color and the little buckle part. So like add orange M and M. All right, red M and M, blue M and M, just like that. You know, make it look like a cookie, I guess. Um, I don't know. That was a cool idea. You know what I'm saying? Just to switch it up a little bit and add some more color in the areas. So, um, so yeah, we are pretty much done with the character and the flat colors. And now I'm gonna hop over to rendering, shading, and all that other good stuff to make the whole image pop out. And we are gonna be done with this character design.
all right and that is going to be it for this video hey look i like it it's cool it's cute it's a cookie <laughs> um but yeah guys that's gonna be it bro this is uh our first part all right like i said y'all if you guys want to participate in these uh challenges follow me on instagram and all the other stuff like that um and also if you want to you can leave a couple of other suggestions in the comment section below i might just put your comment in the next poll all right um that way when we vote your character will be up and i'll see what i can do bro but anyway that is going to wrap it up for this video thank you guys so much for walking make sure you guys like comment and subscribe if you're new I'll see you guys next time. Peace.